everybody. I'm going to read you a story about starting school, which we're, you're all going to be doing very soon. It's excited, isn't it? You're going to meet lots of new friends and lots of new teachers. Hope you've got your new school shoes and your school uniform. Exciting. Starting school. Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Shushma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison are... Starting school, just like you. The first day. The children wait in the playground with their mums and dads and brothers and sisters and a puppy. Have you got a puppy? The bell rings. ding a -ling. That means it's time to start the day. Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Shushma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison go into the school and meet their teacher. There she is. I wonder what her name is. Do you know your teacher's name? They hang their hats and coats in the cloakroom, have a look at the toilets and go into the classroom. And they all sit together on the mat. The teacher calls the register. So the register will have all your names on. Got to make sure you're in class, hasn't she? Collects the dinner money and she shows the children round the classroom and the parents too. In the classroom there are tables and chairs, drawers for the children to keep their things in. And there is a book corner, a home corner, an interest table and a box of dressing up clothes. So it's a little bit like preschool room, isn't it? It's exciting. Oh, but look. They've got a baby rabbit in their classroom. I wonder if you'll have any animals or pets in your classroom. You have to wait and see. During the morning, Errol and Gavin and Sophie and Shushma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison get used to the classroom and the rabbit gets used to them. At playtime, they go out to play. At dinner time, they eat their dinners. In the afternoon, they draw pictures go out to play again and have singing in the hall. At the end of the day, they tidy up, have a story on the mat, put on their hats and coats and go home. It's a little bit what happens at preschool, isn't it? We tidy up at the end of the day and we play a game or we have a story and then mummies and daddies come for us and we go home. The second day. The next day, Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Shushma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison go to school again. In the morning, they do a picture and some writing in their new books. And after that, they have some music, music and movement in the hall. And Errol's mum plays the piano. Wow. At playtime, Robert loses his hat. Oh no. Alison finds it. Phew. Errol bangs his knee. Oh, poor Errol. And the teacher rubs it better. Oh, that's kind. Gavin and Shushma and David climb on the climbing frame. Kate thinks about climbing, but she's not so sure. In the afternoon, the children make some models. They show them to the head teacher, have a story on the mat, and go home. The first week. As the days go by, the children get more used to the school. On Wednesday, they go into the hall for an assembly. They listen to the singing and say a prayer. They watch some older children do a play. And there we are. On Thursday, they start learning to read. Wow, that's fantastic. So you're going to learn how to read when you go to big school. Gavin can read already. He brings in his book from home to show the teacher. Errol brings in his tooth from home to show the teacher. It came out in the night. Oh dear. I wonder if the tooth fairy came with some pennies. On Friday, they go swimming in the swimming pool. Oh, in the school pool. Wow, I wonder if your swimming... Uh, sorry, I can't talk. I wonder if your school will have a swimming pool. Maybe, maybe not. Have to wait and see. The water is warm and not too deep. Robert and Shushma and Kate jump up and down. 
David and Sophie walk in down the steps. Errol thinks about walking in. There they are, are having a swim. In the afternoon, Kate and Shushma and David do cooking with David's mum. They make 12 little cakes, three big cakes and a mess. That's all right, isn't it? They can clean it up. Time goes by. The next week, Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Shushma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison choose a name for the rabbit. Oh, interesting. I wonder what name they're going to choose. They draw rabbit pictures, make rabbit models, bake rabbit biscuits, have rabbit stories on the mat and do lots more rabbit things besides. <clears throat> the week after that, the children have their photographs taken. Oh, there they all are, having the pictures done. A bit like what we've had at preschool before. We've had photos taken, haven't we? And the week after that, Gavin loses a glove. Oh, no. And Alison learns to swim. Sophie reads a book and Shushma shows her sari lamp. Her sari and her diva lamp, sorry. Robert thinks about being in a Halloween party. And sometimes the children are happy and sometimes they are sad. Sometimes puzzled or sleepy or grumpy or lumpy or spotty. Who oh, eh? Got spots. Chicken pox. Sometimes the children... Is Sometimes the teacher is not cheerful either. Oh no, why do you think she's not cheerful? Have a look at these. <gasps> Somebody's ripped a book, look. <gasps> Somebody's spilt paint all over the floor. Oh dear, they're all being a little bit silly practicing for the Halloween play. Oh dear. Oh, and somebody spilled her drink, but she shouldn't have a drink, should she, in the playground? No, that's a bit silly. End of term. Christmas comes in the last week of term. The infants do a play about baby Jesus. Everybody has a part and all the mums and dads come to watch. There is everybody in the play. On the last day of term, the children bring cakes and crisps, sausages, sandwiches and jellies and have a party in the classroom. No look. I wonder if you'll have a party when it's near the Christmas in your classroom. Then Gavin and Errol and Sophie and Shushma and David and Kate and Robert and Alison go home. There they all are, going home for the holidays. And the holidays begin. Wow, so that went fast, didn't it? Have a wonderful time at school. Can't wait to see you all in your uniform. Send us lots of pictures so all the ladies can see. Have a wonderful time and we'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.